Yo, 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 yo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the DST Show. Of course, what I've heard over most wrestling news was, of course, the overfabrication, the absolute mischief, the falsehood of Tony Khan saying that there was a massive pop over being 3.5 million to 4 million viewers of Dynamite over changing television channels over from TNT to TBS only averaging like a what a two a point two three in demographic and only one mil one million viewers uh, like on their latest episode of Dynamite and I guess the only big draw for that, technically, was a huge access to be a uh, all access show that was underwhelming because Tony Khan's rating ploy was to work to magnify AEW. So they just needed a massive little, um, well, we'll call it a uh, not a thumbnail. He did try to manipulate the viewers uh, for a massive rating ploy out of like barely still trying to scratch over the surface since the. I would say, since the Jay Briscoe memorial match on television, and then the fabrication over from uh, massive viewership numbers being exploited over, I guess averaging around the, averaging around somewhere around near four million viewers, and apparently one point two eight million people is. High viewership. I bet uh, the XFL got higher numbers than that. I'm not even trying to play bias over to the extent because I know WWE, uh, like The Rock, affiliates with the XFL. Last Wednesday was near three, three, uh, 350,000 viewers, guys. AEW has like a weak consistency, which I to feel like their show was high, like... High ratings must see TV when there when there's so much fabrication that they barely even draw around the, still their opening numbers of around 1.5 and they're happy that they got one one million twenty eight hundred thousand viewers in w one episode of Dynamite over a cheap ratings ploy for something that they could have added as YouTube content. And uh, they probably would want to make this a subscription base when half the roster is barely interesting to begin with. Honestly, I, like, like if we're looking to the extent of content going around over the over the weekly ties that the Big Bang Theory has, it's con more consistent than Dynamite. Big Man Fury has increased in viewership since AEW went to TBS. How do you get a one point? How do you average a one point four as soon as a wrestling show camp comes in? How is that even possible that you get better as soon as wrestling? Usually, more people would be more excited to change their schedule up so they can watch their wrestling show. I'm sure that would happen if WWE Monday Night Raw went to Paramount. And that used to be Spike TV, if anybody wasn't informed. But, this is just insanity. And just to know, like, there's so much fabrication. And they're just okay with only popping over a rating. Just one, one point, uh, 1.28 million. It, it, that's kind of sad. And I'm not even trying to uh, appoint the victim here. Jericho saying that hitting the 1 million mile mark, uh, 1 million viewer mark when he's been part of, uh, possibly one of the biggest, like, eras in wrestling. He should be expected to garner more of the fan, the fans' involvement. Thanks, uh, AEW did a higher number than this to begin with. Among most, um, uh, among, uh, Chris Jericho's many self proclaimed monikers, the million viewer man, and the demo god. Most relative, last week's AW Dynamite cracked 1 million mark viewership for the first time since January 25th, 
episode, not to mention achieving the highest overall rating since October 2022. That is not their highest overall rating, dude. They picked up like a 1.3 over their two debut episodes. AW was actually decent, like decent to watch. And they're they're only contemplating over popping over college basketball, but they won't. But they'll be complaining as soon as March Madness comes in. Yeah, they will. We're a month away from that, guys. March Madness, second half of the NBA season is upon us, especially around some games already starting around the twenty uh, last night and tonight. So they're they're only. Getting over a higher viewership all because of a ratings play over Tony Khan. Not because they're actually doing decent. They are so inconsistent viewership-wise. And, and it's such a lackadaisical amount of talent. They're so above themselves to be like, This is this is the greatest part. This is the greatest uh, viewership while you have a crappy B-show. You have a lackluster uh, drawing power for your pay-per-view, especially when your highly favorited top heel was already getting undervalued facing off against Danielson in an Iron Man match that's barely getting built up, by the way. And uh, you guys are happy only drawing one million, like barely one million. And you have a shitty B-show. Like 287 viewers should be a wake-up call that we shouldn't have fucking Dustin Rhodes versus Swerve Strickland and then the Elite versus Top Flight and Air Fox. Guys, we build up to this type of shit. Stop stop having Jay Cargill face off against these no-names and push her to the main title already. Because no one... Uh, Jamie Hayter is hot. She's just not interesting. And just having this little, like, t rip-off team bad aesthetic with, uh, whatever, uh, N NXT Women's Champion Nutface and, uh, Ruby Soho's doing is not really helping the women's division out, dog. And this is what Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks in the show. Supposedly still top guys over in the company that I guess AEW fans want to see. And I don't mind an hour of wrestling, but they need to do something to at least bring more aesthetic over drawing only 1,028,000 people when they've done higher numbers, bro. This is, they, they need to have a bit of a higher exception when it comes to like what really gives out for major news, especially giving explicit fabrication numbers or having just that much of a low expectation. And even Russell Talk even knows this is bullshit. Clarification on AEW's press release touting 4.4 million viewers for Dynamite. Release note by Jason Stellis, uh, president of Turner Network Investigations, uh, Discovery and Headline News. Newsliner and streaming quoting AEW has such an amazing loyal fan base that it brings 4 million viewers to TBS every every Wednesday night, which confuses some, which viewership hotly debated to Twitter endlessly. Most fans know Dynamite does not net uh, uh, get a Nielsen rating for 4 million viewers any given Wednesday. So where you figure, where you think it's coming from, asking you shall receive... Brandon Thruston from Russell Comics. I can't believe that's a legitimate source. Reached out to Warner Brothers, discovered a uh, for for the comment provided for clarification, according to a tweet from Forth Thorson. I'm told the measurement uh, por uh, portions of viewers who watched at least a minute of TBS on Wednesday for 7 p.m. to 12 p 12 a.m. Each week, so they average around just a total margin of people just watching the televised network or the channel, not just watching Dynamite. And that's including over the Big Bang Theory that averages around higher viewership than Dynamite. And I think American Dad airs around that that area too. So they're just averaging around the total net margin, and Dynamite's barely under 
around 800,000 and 900,000 people consistently. Not just a million, like average around 800,000. The bare minimum of viewership they get that are out in peaks around that time. Because if it's 4 million, I would hear people outside of wrestling talk about AW Dynamite. That's like that's like a popular television show. That's like a game. Like, that's like House of the Dragon level of popularity. If you're getting four million a week, and yet they're not. There is, and I'm and I'm not trying to prey upon their downfall. Or AW will never be successful. I hate saying that because I want companies to succeed, but the, just the over the over fabrication. Lack, lack of interest in, like, just a ratings ploy that just is underwhelming for some shit that they should be obviously doing to begin with. How come they're not having backstage briefings? Screw being the elite. Being the elite. Screw the Jericho uh, Appreciation Society. Screw Dynamite. And screw Tony Khan. Wasting everybody's time. Trying to feel like they're the hottest... The hottest show... On, on the network when they're still getting beaten by reruns on the own table network. And by the way, Dynamite's supposed to be their B show on TBS. Their A show on TBS. And, and, and they put their B show where it's competing upon primetime basketball that's worldly televised. Di Rampage is never going to beat SmackDown and Rampage is not going to beat like Lakers versus Boston Celtics. You can't do that. So, reality's really going to hit over to the face when there's actually stuff that people want to watch, like March Madness, or Build to WrestleMania, or, or, actual, or actually good television shows. Honestly, just, th this is just depressing. And the, and the fans, that, and the people that really got clickbaited over most of this stuff so they could just get a talking point out of this is the EW fans. Just being honest with you, that that's it from the from the DST show. I'm I'm gonna go take my Tylenol now.